Todd Harrington from Winchester, Virginia. This is my lovely wife, Vivian. And we brought our 1934 Hudson Terraplane to the uh, Rockville Car Show today. I think it's an expression of our deep-rooted interest in history and enjoying the ability to still drive it on the road. I love the grill on the 34 Terraplane in particular. It has a rumble seat, which makes it very fun. No, it's a rumble seat, sometimes known as the mother-in-law seat. It opens up in the back and it's like riding in a convertible without a windshield. It's a very comfortable ride, just a little bit unwieldy to get in and out. I have a 1964 Oldsmobile Starfire. When the car came out, I was 14 at the time. I couldn't afford this, and plus I was not old enough to drive. It'll go 120, it's really fast. It's a rocket. Oldsmobiles were built for straightaways. My name is Hal Herman. This is a 1957 Packard Clipper Town Sedan. The first thing that drew me to it was the fact that it has a supercharged engine. And I thought a, a four-door sedan with a supercharged engine was kind of a unique thing and I thought it'd be fun to have. How'd you get it here? We drove it. You can still drive it? Of course. My name's Juanita Hayes. I'm sitting right now in our 1926 Model T Ford. It's about as original as you can get. It's rusty, it's dinged, it's got all sorts of character, and it's one of the few cars when you take it to a show you don't have to worry about people touching it, and it just runs like crazy. She's a 1931 Ford Town Sedan. I love the idea that I can go in the garage and do a couple things to get her ready and start up this 88-year-old car and go wherever I want to go. Uh, I went to a lot of car shows with my dad as a kid and um, I was amazed by these old cars then and I really still am now. Her name is Hannah, my wife named her that and I think it's fitting because that's kind of an old-timey name so it uh, goes along with her, she's just a good old gal. My entire teenage life was spent with a 1951 pack. For me, it's a lot of nostalgia and uh, sort of misty-eyed. My dad had one. I grew up with it. It's the same identical color and feel, character, charisma, charm. I just enjoy it. My name's Harry Scott. This is a 1960 Mack truck. It's a model B61. Back when these trucks were new, they were kind of the top of the line. I was looking at eBay about eight years ago, and lo and behold, there it was. And I had it delivered home. It was in pieces. It had already been painted, and all the parts were there to put it together. It was like putting together a giant uh, puzzle. And it was one of those, I can't live without it. I have a uh, 92 Ford Mustang. It's a Florida Highway Patrol car. My son went to school for uh, criminal justice and uh, he's hearing impaired so he would never be able to be on the street police officer and I thought, well, it would be cool to get him a police car to take to car shows. I just love the attention it gets and everybody has a police story, so it's just a lot of fun. I have a 1943 Willys MB. It's an Army Jeep manufactured during World War II. I'd always been in love with these vehicles since I was a little kid and I'm sort of a, a history buff um, and that period of time interests me, the World War II period of time, so uh, why just read about it when you can drive it? The name of the car is T-Daddy. Uh, it was common for GIs to name their vehicles just for fun and I named mine T-Daddy which was a nickname that my sister and I had for my father when we were growing up, when we were little kids. Neither of us could figure out why we called him that, but we did and so uh, sort of a tribute to my dad, I've named my Jeep T-Daddy. It's a uh, 1934 Ford Deluxe four-door sedan. It's not the car so much, it's, it's the era it represents. It's what was going on then. You know, it's like it's the Depression, you know, and I personally am 
uh, I guess the silent generation born just before U.S. entry into World War II. So it's the history. Oh, I love this car show. This is one of the best. You meet very, very nice people. I think it's important to preserve these pieces of history. Put a lot of work into it. We've got to show it all, you know. It's a lot of fun driving around in an old car. 